Hey, what's up guys? A short tutorial here. You can see a HUD. It's updating the text and the bar uh, using uh, the HUD message device and first. Uh, so let's dive into it. We need a creative device. So we make that, place it into the level. We need a HUD message device. Change some settings here for the placement, custom, top, center. No animations needed. So we set to none and show for duration is also false. We will create a widget blueprint, use a widget. Inside here, we set the anchor to the middle corresponding to the HUD message device. So it will show on the exact same location. We do the same for the text as well. We're using two textures. One is for the color and one is for the opacity. And the transparency here as well or the mask is based off the transparency channel these notes here they create a mask um, and clamping it down with the floor so we are in the with a uh, mask and we can change the mask with this add node we are using a material parameter collection here to update it from zero to one and we remap it so it fits the texture we are using. So as you can see, when I move this uh, parameter, uh, it will update the texture. The next step is to set the material here as the image. In order to get the first dynamic text into this user widget, we're gonna set a view binding we want to change the text and we use the hot message device text as an input. So it goes from here into the text we want to change, which is the day one. We update the HUD widget to our newly created one. And we're going to create a level sequence to change this material parameter. We find it here and we start with zero and then we go for whatever length you want, we set it to one. Also set force keep state in the cinematic device. Okay, inverse. In this case, we use a button to start the whole thing. We use a cinematic sequence device and a HUD message device. And we have a variable called current day, which is set to one. And this function here, it converts a string to a message so we can feed it into the hot message device on begin we are awaiting two functions they wait 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 and whenever we press this button it will uh, execute the things underneath it so in this case we are setting the text current day and we feed it into the hot message device hot day set text message from string so we're using this function to convert the string to a message and we say play this cinematic device the second awaiting function is whenever this sequence is done playing so when it's stopped so every day it's not the final day it adds plus one and it sets the new text for the hut message device and it plays the sequence again Here's the result, day one, day two, and the bar goes up until it reaches the final day. Because we have set it to force keep state, it will stay a full bar.